Hi, I'm Lorna from wearablyweird.com and in this video I'll be showing you an easy way to lace converse in the standard style. Now I always find myself coming back to this style if I've taken the laces out of my converse to clean them or if I've tried different lacing techniques and just want to go back to the factory standard. So my first tip for you is to take a pair of socks and put them down inside your converse. The reason I do this is it creates a little bit of resistance under the sneaker tongue and when you lace on top of that it creates nice even laces instead of a looser lace at the bottom and a tighter lace at the top. Now you can go ahead and get your lace and feed it down into the two bottom eyelets like this. Make sure the lace is nice and crisp and not creased. And the reason I say to go down and not underneath is this is the standard method that the Converse factory do. So then you wanna take your two laces and make sure that they're the same length by stretching them out. And then you wanna take this one and feed it over and then down into the next eyelet up. Make sure there are no creases again. So we want a nice crisp, fresh look. Put it to the side, take the other lace and do the same on this side. Always making sure there's no creases all the way through. Then take this lace again. And the reason we're doing one lace at a time instead of one lace all the way through and then the other one is because we wanna follow the nice pattern that is created here. So just over and down into the eyelet every time. Now we're getting nearer the top, making sure there's no creases. So you can stop at this point when you're two eyelets from the top, if you want your lace knot to be showing when you wear your sneakers out. But if you want a more of a hidden lace knot, carry on all the way to the top. Quick message before we continue, if you're looking to try some different awesome ways to lace your converse, I have a huge blog post linked in the description for you where I'll cover these nine lacing techniques. So if you like the look of any of those, make sure to check it out. And if you go all the way to the top like this, when you lace your converse and you're wearing a pair of jeans, your sneakers should be going all the way up under the collar, I'm sorry, the cuff of your jeans and the lace knot should be covered. So at this point, what I like to do is sort of stretch out the sneaker tongue and go back down through and make sure all of the cross patterns are nice and even and looking good. And you wanna make sure they're crossing in the middle as well. And you can tighten anything up here as well if you want to, to make sure they just turn out really nice. Like that. 